Good morning, students. Uh, welcome to the trigonometry video number two. In my last video, I have showed you that um, by Pythagoras theorem, we can say hypo square equal to sum of other two sides of square. And then we showed uh, sine theta equal to cos 90 minus theta. They are complementary angles. Some of them are equal to 90 degree. Some of them is 90 degree. Cos theta equal to sine 90 minus theta and cotangent or cot theta equal to 10 90 minus theta. And of course, tan theta equal to sine theta by cos theta. Now, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna take this thing, cos theta and sine theta, okay? Sine theta equal to C by B from here. You can see that sine theta, sine theta equal to C by B, cos theta equal to A by B. We're gonna, we're gonna go from here. And then Pythagoras theorem, B square equal to A square plus C square. We're gonna use this identity. Okay, that's Pythagoras theorem here. What are you gonna do? We're gonna square them and add them. Let's see what happened. Now, sine square theta plus cos square theta. Now this is gonna give me C by B square plus A by B square. Now if I take the square off, then it's gonna be C square by B square plus A square by B square. Now simple fraction, addition of the fraction. LCM is B square. Now this is gonna be C square plus A square. Now C square plus A square can be written as, from here I'm coming to this particular place, A square plus C square equal to B square. Now look over here. I have B square equal to A square plus C square. Let me just draw this angle, so triangle, so you can see what's going on here, okay? Um, if this one A, B, C, and this is gonna be B, this is gonna be A, and this is gonna be C, okay, B square, equal to a square plus c square. Now, instead of this a square plus c square, I can replace this a square plus c square by b square. So b square over b square, and I can cross them off and having equal to one. So, regardless the value of theta, I can see that whatever that theta's value is, if I take sine square theta plus cos square theta, it will come to one, regardless the value of theta. So, formula number one, today's lecture, I got sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one. This is known as trigonometric identities, okay? Trigonometric identities. Okay, that's the first one. A uh, lot of students learn three different identities, but I teach only one. And then from this one, I tell them to how, tell them how to derive the other two. To get the other two, you have to know this one, ten, ten theta equal to. Remember uh, that ten ninety minus theta was cot theta, and it was reciprocal of that. So tan theta is one by cot theta, and these are reciprocal. So this and cot theta, if we multiply them, it always comes to one. And then sine theta equal to reciprocal of sine theta is cosec theta, cosec theta. Sine theta equal to one by cosec theta, and cos theta equal to one by sec theta this is this is these three are another uh, another three trigonometric ratios first three ratios was sine cosine and tangent so we call sine cos tan and this one is cot cosec and sec these are another three of ratios trigonometric ratios if this is theta if this is theta then cot theta let me write down this this cot theta cot theta would be, see that tan theta was C by A and cot theta would be A by C. Its reciprocal is like that, we name it like this. And cosec theta would be uh, opposite of sine or reciprocal of sine. Sine was C by B, so this is gonna be B by C. And sec theta 
is going to be reciprocal of cos. Cos was A by B, so it's going to be B by A. Okay. Now what happened? I'm going to divide this left hand side and right hand side by sine square theta. Let's see what happened. I'm just going to use that one. Sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Now both sides I'm going to divide by cos square theta. This is cos square theta. Now distributive law of division tells me that when I distribute this cos square theta denominator sine square theta divided by cos square theta plus cos square theta divided by cos square theta and this can be written as 1 by cos theta square. Now this one sine sin square theta cos square theta can be written as sine theta by cos theta whole square and this cross out okay this cross out and gives me 1 and this is 1 by cos theta square now sine sine theta by cos theta I hope you remember sine theta by cos theta was tan theta sine theta by cos theta was tan theta now when I have sine sine theta by cos theta square then it's going to be tan square theta so in the place of this I'm going to have see I, I divided both sides like that so I have another set of formula on another formula tan square theta plus 1 plus 1 equal to 1 by cos 1 by cos was uh, over here see that uh, sec if I bring sec over here and cos over here reciprocal so sec theta equal to 1 by cos theta so this is going to be 1 by cos square theta is going to be sec square theta that's another trigonometric identities and the third one I divided both sides by cos theta now I'm gonna divide both sides by sine theta sine actually sine square theta cos square theta equal to 1 so I'm gonna divide this right hand side by sine square theta and sine square theta and distributive law is gonna give me sine square sine square cross out 1 and cos square by sine square now cos square by sine square is reciprocal of 10 you can see that reciprocal of 10 and reciprocal of 10 was cot right so this is going to be cot square theta and what is 1 by sine square we can see that 1 by sine over here is cosec so from here if i bring cosec here transposition of this thing so cosec theta equal to 1 by sine theta so when I have 1 by sine square theta, that becomes cosec square theta. So I have another formula, 1 plus cot square theta equal to cosec square theta. Now these three formulas are very important to prove the trigonometric identities. Okay, so I hope you understand this. If you don't, please see the video again. If you need further help, uh, write down on the inbox and I'll get back to you in my next video I'll show you supplementary angles how they affect in trigonometric function over here I have uh, complementary angles and next video I'll talk about uh, supplementary angles okay uh, see you later have a good day